So one of the things we've just seen is that I'm able to do you know, the basic math. And then it started to get a little weird because all of a sudden I was doing you know, this 10 asterisk asterisk 2 uh, to do exponentials. But as you can kind of see from the screen, this way, uh, I'm talking about something like division. Well, I've already demonstrated division, you might say. I can do uh, 3 slash 3, and it's okay. Well, all right, 3 slash 4. Okay, what should that equal? Well, if we kind of look at that, that's uh, 3 going into 4 zero times with a remainder of 3. So kind of playing the fractional sense, this should give me uh, 0 0.75. That's what it does. But if you kind of listened to how I was kind of rational uh, rationalizing all of that for a second, I said 3 goes into 4 zero times with a remainder of 3. So how do I, I kind of separate this? You know, maybe I don't want a, a decimal point all of a sudden. So how can I do what we call integer division? I can take two whole numbers and divide them together, and I should only get a whole number back. Well, it's kind of the same uh, approach is going to happen here, is I still do the 3, I still do a slash, but instead of doing just one slash going into the 4, I actually put a second slash in. Now if I come in with the 4, all of a sudden this is where magically, oh, I get a 0. What happens is because I Python, it looks at this and goes, okay, this is a whole number, this is a whole number, let's divide them, and I'm going to just go ahead and truncate, throw away everything decimal-wise. Again, remember, this is storing less in binary. So, okay, how do I get the remainder? How do I get that all of a sudden? If I want to happen to have the remainder, which we'll see in kind of greater practice later on, uh, how do I do that? And so, all of a sudden, we come to a new symbol. You never learned this one in math class. Oh, well, you do the long division, you put an R there, and that's how you, that's how you represent it. Well, no, I'm not able to just do 3R4. That clearly does not work. So, all of a sudden, we're introduced to a new symbol. Modulus, or modulo, depending on who you kind of look at and listen to. But what this does is it brings out my remainder. And so, 3 percent sign you know, it's no longer a percentage. Uh, if I did uh, 3% in this case, what is 3% of 40? I get an error. That's not how uh, percentages work, and that's not what the percent sign does inside of Python. So 3% modulo 4. Again, this is going to give me the remainder. So how many times can uh, 3 go into 4? Zero times. It's not big enough. And so what I have is a remainder of 3. Well, let's flip those two. Let's go 4 modulus 3. What I'm saying here is I'm saying 4 divided by 3. Okay, well, 3 in this case can go into 4 uh, one time. And so now all of a sudden what we're looking at is how many remainders do we have? Well, in this case, we should have one remainder. 